plan this morning was to get up early, leave at the same time as my wife to go into the city and I'd shoot some street photos. That plan did not happen. The dog threw up in the middle of the night. So I was kind of sleepy this morning. I slept in and thought I'll go shoot in the afternoon. Afternoon comes and I walk out the door and I see the train pulling away from the platform. So I missed the train. I don't want to wait another hour for the next train to come. I'm just going to bite the bullet. I'm going to drive into Centre City and I'm going to find a parking space. It's a bonus that I found a space pretty much instantly because uh, it wasn't that bad a drive. I just like there's like something in me that just immediately makes city driving stressful. So I don't know. I'm just kind of a bitch about it. All right, we've got an hour on the meter, so pressure's on. Let's go shoot. Not far from where I parked the car, I walked into this like square for this apartment building area, and I noticed this like awning thing. So I just kind of waited for someone to pass through here. And I got this photo, this was like the first picture of the day. There's a nice silhouette of this guy walking through. It's kind of a graphic scene with the, the white sculpture type thing. And I just wanted to take a picture of that scene just to kind of remember it, because I'm going to go back there. There's a whole bunch of different shapes and things in there. Then just across the street from that, there's this like concrete building here. And I noticed you could walk underneath the pillars. And I'm just waiting on people walking through. I've got a couple different pictures. I got this was probably the best one from this angle. I loved how it was dark down in the corner, and then you've got the the beams that are basically white to the side. And I moved out and around to the other side. And on the way, I saw this kind of scene here. I figured there's nobody standing there, but if there'd been a person there, maybe standing smoking or something, that would have been a pretty cool looking photo. And then I'm just trying the same shot from the other side here. I'm waiting on some more people coming out. I stood here for a minute and this girl walks out with the door in the distance and starts walking towards me. So I just waited for her to get close enough and snapped off a couple shots. And these ones came out pretty cool, a lot darker than the other side, but I still really like them. Then making my way across the street, I look back and I like the kind of balconies on this building. I like the sort of like repetitive architecture pattern in there. Across the street, I'm not really sure about this picture but I thought the guy walking through with like the purple colored shirt um, really contrasted well with the trees and then here I'm just shooting these this building through the trees nothing crazy just kind of a nice architecture shot and just around the corner there the entrance to this park I just I thought it was kind of a nice symmetrical scene and waited for somebody to pass in the middle of it I've got this person here and then again, just around the corner from that, there's this elevator with this blue wall and sculptures attached to it. And I stood here for a while, just waiting on someone coming past, hoping to use the reflection in the window there. And I got this lady, her shirt was blue, pretty much the same color as the background. And I liked the reflection. I thought it was a pretty cool photo. And I stayed there for a bit longer and immediately this other girl walks past. I didn't see her coming, but she was picking her nose. And I thought that was kind of a funny looking photo tried my luck on the other side of this elevator thing and an old lady comes along and she's dressed in the exact same color as the frame for the window and her hair I guess is the same color as well and also her backpack was the same color as the wall which I thought kind of tied everything in nicely. So getting to the spot where I was actually planning on shooting which was Jefferson Hospital and it was these arches that originally caught my eye and I wanted to come back and shoot here when I was driving past it the other day. So I started firing off a couple practice shots just to sort of get an idea of the scene. And someone's walking past me here. And I'm using the archway as kind of a, just to add some sort of graphic nature into that picture. Not really loving what I'm getting, but these two guys walk through these arches here and it just kind of lines up pretty perfectly. I could have maybe done with a third person or a third art here, but the guy is like rubbing his head or scratching his head or something, that kind of gesture there, I thought that was kind of cool. And then as the other guy walks on a little bit, I zoomed in and took another shot there. I think I preferred this one to the other one for some reason. Moving on around the corner, 
to the other side of the building. There's a couple like hugging at the far end of this uh, tunnel. So I've got a little shot there, kind of a graphic looking one. I like the leading lines in this one that leads down to them. And I'm waiting on people coming out and walking through that patch of light there. And I've got this guy here, the light's just hitting his face, but he's sort of contrasted against that dark patch, which I quite liked. And then waiting on other people coming through. I'm trying to time it so that more than one person is in somewhere in the scene at the same time. So there's that, the one guy on the left side there, you can see him through the gap. And then there's the person in the distance just sort of hitting that little patch of light there. And I'm just kind of walking around and seeing if I can notice anything different. And here's a reflection. I took kind of a selfie in this reflection. Then I moved on to another building across the way, which also has pillars on the outside of it. But I wasn't shooting the pillars in there. There was a guy lying on this rock and I just silhouetted him against the concrete behind him and I like the contrast in this scene, I thought it was kind of cool. And I'm back around the other side again on my way out. I'm sort of trying to squeeze as much out of this scene as I can, waiting on somebody else walking through here. He had a white top on though, so he's not really, doesn't really pop out. I thought I'd wait here a little bit longer and see if anything else happens. And then these two people walk through two different arches at the exact same time and it was almost timed perfectly. One guy's got his legs separate, so he's like in mid stride and the other guy's legs are together. It would have been much better if they'd both been separate. And that tree branch kind of lines the arch quite nicely, which I didn't notice at the time. I feel like that was maybe a subconscious thing. And this was me, I'd given up at this point, I was on the way back and I noticed these like red umbrellas with the green plants below it. So I cross over the street and wait on this guy coming through. And this guy with this pink top and black shorts on kind of looks over right as I take the picture and I, I, I don't know what it was about this picture, I, I kind of found it interesting or funny or just weird. Man, it is getting humid as fuck. I haven't looked at the pictures yet but I'm pretty sure that I got a couple good ones. If this video sees the light of day that means I got some that were at least passable for a YouTube video. Whenever I'm taking pictures anywhere, I go by that same saying, if your pictures aren't good enough, you're not close enough. So I use, I would usually just get closer in pictures at any other type, if I'm doing weddings, if I'm doing portraits, when I'm shooting camp, when I'm traveling, I just get closer to whatever I'm shooting. But I find that I feel more awkward doing that in the streets. So if it seems like I'm doing mostly wide shots that are of scenes, that is me getting close enough to be out of my comfort zone in that situation. So. All right, I think that was a pretty successful little street photography outing. I was only out for like an hour, maybe even just under an hour, but I didn't end up getting photos that I liked at the spot that I specifically went there for. The photos that I liked the most were the ones that I got on the way to that spot. So that like weird white sort of awning thing that was outside that apartment building, that's a spot that I'll probably go back and check out every so often to see if I can find anything else there. And the building across the street from that, which was just like a boring looking like concrete apartment building or something, but it had some really cool kind of pillars and like a path that could go down it. And there was people coming in and out and crossing through it. I got another couple cool shots there. And then after that, when I was passing that blue wall with the kind of art, like sculptures against it, leaning up against that window and just waiting on people coming past, the lady went past in the blue shirt and I got a reflection in the in the window. I thought that was pretty cool. There was the other girl that walked out right after her who was like picking her nose. And then I tried the other side of that and I got the old lady who was wearing a shirt the same color as the, the frame on the window and a backpack that was the same color as the wall. Thought that was kind of a cool shot as well. I might go back to that area, but um, yeah, wasn't so keen on the area that I actually planned on going to, but. That is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Yeah.